So Neil, first off, and welcome uh, to Derbyshire. Um, just arrived yesterday. How does it feel to finally get here for the season ahead? Yeah, that's no, it's really, it's really feels really good to be here actually. After a long, uh, long flight, and um, you know, the travel wasn't great with a couple of kids, but it's good to finally get here. Uh, say, just coming back from um, the summer under in New Zealand, and um, how was that um, for you? Yeah, it went pretty well personally. Uh, you know, I was happy with uh, my output, but. Uh, you know, I'm just really looking forward to um, you know, bringing that form into uh, into the county season. Uh, yeah. and I say, looking at it, it was a, it was a, it was an impressive season for you, um, in all three forms as well. Are you happy the way you you scored runs across all three and um, three formats? Yeah, I saw. I managed to stay in reasonable nick all summer, so it was um, it was a good thing. But uh, you know, I missed the uh, last three games of the season with um, Kevin knows where he done. So uh, it was a bit of a shame. Uh, we'd like to finish strongly, but. You know, gave me a wee chance to freshen up for the um, you know, this county season, so good idea. Uh, when the, it was announced that you come here, did you speak a lot to uh, to Hamish as well about um, that Derbyshire? Yeah, when I was signing the uh, signing the contract, I was uh, I was talking to Rudsey quite a lot. Um, I suppose he helped me, uh, you know, secure the deal in the end. But uh, you know, he's told me it's a, it's a good bunch of lads with a with a good team spirit. So I'm looking to uh, fit in pretty nicely. Get um, Jimmy Neesham as well over here. It'd be good to have you three to play along so for the T20 competition. Yeah, Jimmy's a he's a hell of a talent. So um, you know he's hopefully he comes over here and uh, performs well like he can. And you say um just had a job on your nose. Uh, are you fully fit now and ready to go? Yeah, he's got the nose redone. Really uh, it's a wee bit swollen at the moment. So um, yeah, I'm breathing really nicely apart from this cold. But uh, uh, yeah, not ready to go. You know, come Monday. So I suppose you got um. A few days now to climatise and get ready for that uh, first game on Monday. Yeah, no, I'm looking forward to um, you know, getting out there in the English conditions and facing that Duke ball. Uh, I'll face it a wee bit back in back home. Um, Neil Wagner was actually bowling with it, so it was nice to uh, get a wee taste of that. But uh, you know, I'm ready to go. Yeah, just um, probably feeling good. So, as a ground you played at before as well, I suppose it's changed a little bit since then. Yeah, the pitch, uh, pitch is running a different way now to when I was here last, and it looks it looks a lot different actually. So, but yeah, it looks a lovely ground, and you know the whole setup's pretty good. So I'm, I'm pleased. I don't know if you've had a chance to speak to Graham much yet, but uh, do you see uh, yourself sitting into fitting into the side this year as well? What hopes for the season? Oh, I hope I can just sort of you know slide in, um, you know se seamlessly, uh, just go about my business the other way I do, and um, not change too much, and you know. Just, I suppose I'm here to score runs, and that's all I'll be looking to do. Yeah. And obviously, it's a two-year deal as well. Hoping to get uh, that consistency to play regularly for that two-year period. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, two-year deal. I'd, I'd love to uh, stretch it out until you know, until I, until I finish playing. 32 now, so I've got a wee bit of cricket left in me, but um, yeah, let's take a game at a time. So, looking forward to it.